the public um, want clear information. They, they, they struggle sometimes. It's, it's quite overwhelming the amount of information that is provided on food products. Uh, we know that it's needed because two in three of us are overweight or obese. We're consuming more calories than we're actually burning. So anything that we can do to uh, make the public more mindful of the calories they're consuming or more mindful of how active they need to be um, should be uh, welcomed. Symbols are much easier for people to um, uh, understand. And it's also about what's, what can be translated in, into people's everyday lives. So for example, if they know that there's a product contains 300 calories, you might say, well, so what? But if you know that the product contains 300 calories and actually to, to burn the calories off in that product, you need to run for 15 minutes, you might either say, oh, well, I might put that back or I might be a bit more active in my everyday life. I think we have to decide what's m most important, really. And, you know, if, if, if that means um, that you know, the food industry sells less, pro less products, but we have, uh, we have a, a healthier society with uh, lower levels of obesity and, and, and people living with obesity-related illness, I think that's, that's something that we, we need to welcome. Well, the NHS has said that there needs to be a radical upgrade in public health and prevention. We have to try everything that we can to, 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 to turn the tide on obesity. Two in three of us are overweight or obese, uh, and it's costing the economy, the NHS, significant amount of money. Uh, the food industry do have a responsibility, as do individuals, but the food industry could do more to make uh, information more easily understandable and available to, to the public.